Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just check if any of the other members have got any questions or comments on, on this report. No? Okay, so we're being asked to note the content, is that agree? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, and that takes us on then to uh, item uh, 11, which is the Emerging Finance Integrated Transport Authority Final Account for 2013-14. Uh, and again, John, do you want to highlight anything on, on this report? Nothing in particular, but uh, the external drop in the whole bag of things. The CA received this report because your chat is still going to sell it, and it can be activated accounts, and next year it will be the wrong accounts, obviously. And we're external to the EM as well to answer any questions or comments if you wish to, but again, this report's for answering any questions. Okay, anybody got any questions? Can I welcome the fact that the, um, the accounts are unqualified? That's, uh, that's good news. Um, so we're being asked to um, consider the part of the report on the final accounts and approve the final, final accounts of the Merseyside Integrated Transport Authority. Those are the recommendations on page one, two, three. Can we agree that? Thank you. Okay. So that takes us now on to uh, agenda item 12. Uh, associate membership um, of the combined authority. I'm going to ask Graham Burgess to introduce this report. Graham? Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm sure all members of the combined authority will recognise that the functioning economic area of the city region goes beyond the current boundaries. Uh, we know that uh, many of our neighbouring authorities uh, use the city region in terms of uh, work, uh, leisure, learning, housing market, and the jobs that we are creating across the city region will be accessed by a number of our neighbours and indeed a number of people who live in the city region will also access jobs outside the boundaries of the city region. Therefore it is very welcome that a number of authorities join the city region and have an interest in working more closely with us. And the some of the reports you considered earlier, particularly on the transport, you'll see the rail scheme going out towards um, Scalmerdale, uh, Baltimore, uh, one should then be into towards Chester as, as well. So it's quite encouraging that those bodies are interested in working alongside us. Um, it's only in Magma, uh, they have had for a number of years the opportunity for authorities <coughs> to, to enabling that combined authority to become associate members. Therefore, uh, this report actually offers the opportunity to two other uh, authorities, West Lancashire and Warrington, to explore with us probably just uh, associate members of this authority. If they were uh, to take that advantage of the opportunity, they would have another 300,000 people to the population of this uh, combined authority's um, area of influence, which I think would be very welcome, and make the economic argument to join up a, a large range of our transport and the job opportunities more available to both our citizens and their citizens. But uh, the only uh, addition point I want to make is clearly if the uh, two authorities mentioned in the report to advantage of this offer, they would join the various officer working groups and would have observer rights uh, as um, uh, on this body and be able to speak at this body, but clearly not vote. Thank you, Chair. Uh, okay, any comments on this report? Okay, so we, we we're happy to progress those recommendations and, and await um, you know, the interest of those two authorities. So, can we agree those recommendations on page 225? I agree. Okay, thank you. Okay, on to item 13, the role of the combined authority in driving the Northern Devolution Agenda. And again, Graham, you're going to introduce that, please. Yes, sir. I think actually, given the draft um, one last night, this report is actually timely uh, in its uh, um, place on the agenda today. Um, Again, you heard as well the really excellent work being done in terms of linking um, up the north into the high speed three. Uh, you talked to hear as well the opportunities of uh, integrating the north in terms of its uh, of, of transport and highways powers. This report uh, tries to attempt to bring together the five northern combined authorities uh, North East, uh, Lee City, City Region, Chester City Region, Manchester City Region, and Liverpool City Region and start talking how we could even um, improve the, the activity across the north. 
this grouping, if they went uh, efficiently and effectively, would have sent almost 11 million people, 11 million people, which is larger than most of the nations of the UK. Definitely a, a key influential group if you can work together and build on the work that's already been done in a very effective form across the north. There have been two or three informal meetings supported by the LGA uh, over the last two or three months, and a further meeting is planned between five uh, northern authorities plus the Teesside plus the LGA uh, in the Leeds City region area uh, in early October. So this report gives an update to the command authority on those meetings and also attaches as an appendix some ideas about a some some elements of a northern agenda that goes beyond the very important transport work we're already doing and seeks any comments on that paper. Clearly, uh, I'm sure the Chair would report back from the meeting in Leeds and report back and seek your views on any emerging priorities from that meeting. Thank you, Chair. Okay, any, any comments on this? I mean, can, can I say, I mean, you referred to it, Graham, I think with the, um, the uh, discussion about Reagan as well, I think the, um, this is a timely report. I think the, um, the momentum now behind all the addition to, to the English group um, is, is going to be is gather, it's going to gather uh, hate, and I think um, we as a constituency region combined authority, we need to take that opportunity to put forward our our camp, our peers and asks. And I know the other combined authorities, which happens to be all in the north, uh, are, are of a similar view. And I think collectively we can be a very powerful lobbying force um, to government with with, um, with our agenda. So. Um, we, we have got this further meeting uh, of all the combined authorities next month. I, I will absolutely report back to our next meeting of this combined authority, and hopefully we can agree um, a, uh, a, an agenda of what further devolution um, we would like to see for the city region. So I think uh, it's important that we take advantage of this opportunity. So recommendations are set out on page 229, um, project 2.1, they agree? Okay. Right, um, item 14 and a series of, of minutes from uh, the Emerging Travel Committee. I think we just have to, to note those minutes. Can we note that? Okay, thank you. And um, on to the final item this morning, which is implementation of the Liverpool City uh, Region Deal. Um, Okay, so I've just, no, no presentation on this one, just asking you to agree uh, the recommendations on page 285, they agree. Thank you. Okay, um, just one other very minor item of, of any other business before we finish. Um, I'd like to, we, we need to uh, agree a, a deputy to me as the chair of the combined authority on the left European um, subcommittee. And I'm gonna suggest, um, uh, Council Ronnie Brown as the Vice Chair of the Combined Authority to fill that role. Can, can we agree that? That's second bit, thanks for Okay, that's agreed. Okay, I've not been uh, uh, informed of any other urgent items. Just to remind you, the date of the next meeting of this Combined Authority is Friday, the 17th of October. Okay, so um, please, please uh, make a note of that. And uh, can I close the meeting and thank everybody for their attendance.